Luna Rising have just been uh, matched with a roughly equivalent clan. These are the top five guys. But it's the most bizarre clan war you'll ever see, and I'm going to tell you exactly why. I'm actually not in this clan war because I need to be in a clash off. But the Hobbit foe, um, he comes in with, I don't know how many, is that 45 giants? And we were thinking, there's really something wrong here. Because this is a clan, war, a clan that says in their description that they clan constantly. It actually, it's not just the setting that they've set, they've typed the words. So they clan, they clan war constantly. And uh, an, all, an all giant attack is, is not really recommended it's 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 uh it's it's rubbish i mean and, and, and this and this video is not intended to insult another clan or uh, you know rage against another clan i mean far be fr far be it I mean, i'm trying to help them here but you know it, it is a really really strange strange clan war so it starts off quite strange as well so we've got the the uh the, the, the lava hound there on defense uh you know, I mean, that thing is a tank. It's never going to die. So, you know, take, taking out the uh, taking out the heroes is, is no problem whatsoever. And then there's been an awful lot of these as well, where they, they attack, but they only attack the Dark Elixir. Now, you get a tiny amount of Dark Elixir in Clamor. I mean, what, 470 Dark Elixir? And that's it. And then they, they end. And there's been like a hundred of those. This one, uh, you know, on on Tareel, uh, Tareel is uh, the Clash Machine uh, on YouTube. And again, uh, just going for the Dark Dark Elixir, but throwing in a whole bunch of giants. Well, why bother? Because you're triggering the Clan Castle. So that's happened. Uh, okay, so we've got giants coming in. So it's five giants. So that's, that's cool. And then. Oh, and there goes the wall breakers down there, and not not protected whatsoever because you must always shield your wall breakers. Uh, and then and then the hero goes in, and uh, you know it just doesn't. It's almost as if they're trying to be bad, <laughs> you know. It's, and if they are, they've done a good job, um, you know, because all of the archers, of course, are distracted now by the lava hound that they must have seen because this raid happened after the other raid. So, oh, they get the pups. So, you know, they, they must have noticed that the, the, there was a lava hound in there. Anyway, so, well, you know, there, 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 there go the archers. And uh, again, I, I think, I suspect some of them are just, you know, they're, they're just throwing in the towel because they want to get 350 to 400 Dark Elixir. Which, I mean, I use more than that in BAM. But anyway, <laughs> there we go. A big success, 480 Dark Elixir. But the thing is, it's not a badly matched clan setter. I mean, that. Uh, they're, this was actually the best. This is actually the best attack I've seen. This guy's got guts because he's, a, you know, um, Tareel has got his uh, mortars out for, for, for a, you know, attack against it. it. It's they're not like it's not like um, we're ten times, you know, we're like twice as good as they are, so that they know that there's nothing they can do. You know, these are these guys have got you know, one layer off max troops, and most of these attacks. I mean, the top guys didn't bother. Raiding, it's just like it's really strange. It's it's just really bizarre. But anyway, so so yeah, um, this guy Gitterix, I I, th I thought this is a really good attack actually, because I mean, okay, Tarin is our number one. He's got maxed out walls, maxed out heroes, and nobody can really touch him unless you you know exactly what you're doing with with one of the major attack strategies. You know, it's a beautifully laid out base. To real, you know, honestly, but the guy takes one start. Check this out. So he goes in with his uh, king in top to speed it up. And then, uh, of course, that, that triggers the clan castle. So he tries to take out the troops. Probably would have done a bit better by trying to lure them into the corner there, of course. But it doesn't really matter. And uh, it's got 45%. So it's going to be pretty pretty a done, done deal now. That, yeah, that, that cannon is almost uh, dead. So he's drawing them, you know, left and right. Which is good. So take out that um, the, dark, the, the dark barracks there, and then you can see where the next archers are going to go. Going to pop a couple up there, but he's using his clan castle. Okay, that's that's okay. 
But he's got four lightnings left, so he's got lots of options to get 1% now. And he actually does remember that that cannon's, um, cannon's low on health, so it's good. That's actually the best attack that they've done. Would you believe it? One star. So, it's, uh, yeah, with uh, half halfway through, uh, it's 6-1. Their average stars per attack is 0 0.05. Their average destruction is 23.2. I, I, I don't know what to say, really. The only attack they've had is one star. So, you know, good luck to uh, Baba Turks. Um, no, no bad. This isn't intended to make you guys feel bad. But I'd love to know in the comments if you actually were trying to attack. Or, you know, just, just maybe, maybe just tell us what's going on. Because <laughs> it's really, really bizarre. I think that's probably the worst clan, clan war I've ever seen. So anyway, thank you very much indeed for watching. You guys are awesome. And take care and bye for now.